My name is Patty Decker and I come to you today representing the Board of Elders. There have been many events to celebrate this year in the life of our church. One of those events included the commissioning of Lynn McLaughlin, our Minister of Community Life and Next Gen, for permanent ministry credentialing at the annual meeting of the Evangelical Covenant Church. The elders come to you today, inviting you to a special member meeting on November 13th, as we present Lynn to you, the membership, as the candidate for pastor of Community Life, and with this request the approval to transition Lynn from a hired employee to a called pastor. We are choosing to recognize and honor Lynn in light of God's call on her life that the covenant has investigated and verified. This recognition requires that the membership through a vote would commit to Lynn as she commits to us. This commitment is referred to as a pastoral call in our church. With this, we recognize Lynn has earned this by her ministry at Thornapple Covenant Church as a humble and dedicated minister. In doing this, we honor and recognize the skills that she has acquired, all of the hard work that she has put forth through her classwork, completing the requirements for the credentialing put forth by the ECC. And as evidence in her faithful ministry among us these 19 plus years, in actuality, we are catching up with Lynn as the reality is that excluding the title, she already is our pastor. Technically, the title is new. The responsibilities of the position, however, are not. Rather, the current responsibilities match those filled by Lynn at the present time. Hello, Thornapple Covenant members. It has been my joy to serve on staff at Thornapple for nearly 20 years, mostly as one of the ministers to children. I began my time here viewing my position as a job. But over time, I realized that God was really calling me into more of a pastoral role, whether in an official capacity or not. About 10 years ago, Pastor Rob encouraged me to begin the credentialing process with the covenant. I didn't know where this would end up, but I sensed the Holy Spirit at work and began the journey. Writer and pastor Frederick Beekner has said, the place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. I have found this to be true as I have made my way through the classes in process of getting a permanent credential. I became more excited about and pulled toward pastoral ministry as I was given opportunities to expand my role on staff, do some preaching, lead communion, and other responsibilities that confirm this call. I am grateful that many of you and the leadership of the church have encouraged me and affirmed this call in my life during the process. This past year, I completed the commissioning process with interviews at the denomination conference and national boards of ministry, culminating in being commissioned at the annual meeting this past June in Kansas City. It was a very special and holy moment to be sure. And now I'm excited about the possibility of being the pastor of community life and next gen ministries, and to be able to continue serving the Lord at Thorn Apple. Thank you for this opportunity and possibility. Hi, my name is Josh Trober, and I'm here to talk about frequently asked questions about the pastor of community life here at Thornapple. The nature of Lynn's relationship with Thornapple and the title of her position are what change. Candidates for credentialing in the ECC must demonstrate a multi-voiced call, receiving the affirmation of the local church the regional conference, and the denomination. In 2012, Thornapple defined pastor as celebrating partnership and belonging to the Evangelical Covenant Church and trust that the oversight, care, and training of the pastors to our denomination. Additionally, we affirm that the process each pastor must go through to receive a permanent credential with the ECC addresses the necessary spiritual, educational and practical competencies he or she needs for healthy pastoral ministry. Permanent credentials include ordained to the word and sacrament, ordained to word and service, commissions staff. Lastly, we affirm the importance of extending a congregational call to those we invite to join our staff as pastor. For these reasons, the title of pastor at Thornapple will be given to those who hold one of the permanent credentials with the ECC and are called by our congregation. 
There will be no change in her compensation. Compensation reviews happen independently of the pastoral call. No. Calling and installing a teaching pastor has been the plan for many months. Lynn's role as pastor of Community Life and Next Gen is separate from Pastor Julia's role as our teaching pastor. The Covenant Church acknowledges the diversity of how God calls people into ministry. A century ago, the meaning of pastor was narrower than it is today. For years, the Covenant has had a place for people called and gifted by God to serve local churches as pastors without the time and expense of a traditional seminary education. This recognizes the practical education that happens when one serves in a local church. There is a rigorous eight-course educational component to getting a permanent credential with the Covenant. Four courses are called Covenant Orientation and four seminary-level courses were completed in New Testament, Old Testament, Theology, and History. The process Lynn has completed follows the prescription of the Covenant for those who are commissioned, which includes holding a bachelor's degree and taking four three-credit graduate courses in theology at an accredited seminary, overview of New Testament, overview of Old Testament, systematic theology, church history, and demonstrating 12 semester hours in an area of specialization. The relationship is stronger with the pastor and membership as she, Lynn, becomes called by membership. A dismissal would also require membership action. This is a greater investment and commitment between a congregation and the pastor. Thus, because Lynn's responsibilities and salary will not change, we are honoring the credentialing work she has recently completed. We are choosing to esteem her ministerial past, present, and future with Thornapple. Please feel free to reach out to myself, our Elder Vice Chair Josh Trober, or Pastor Andrew with any questions that you may have. And please put November 13th, following the 10 a.m. service, on your calendar now for this important and celebratory special meeting.